Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the Google Chrome tabbed group feature. So what that does is it allows you to group your various tabs into categories or sections, making it easier to kind of keep things organized. So if you watched our video on the Microsoft Edge uh, tab groups, you realize that it's very similar or pretty much identical uh, to how that one works. So if you're the kind of person who likes to have a you know, million tabs open here, and you're always trying to find what you're looking for, and you spend, you know, spend half as much time looking for the tab as you do looking at what's on the page, you, this might be uh, the, the thing for you. So what we have here in this sample is we have various kinds of web pages open. We have some computer pages, we have some shopping pages, some streaming pages, mountain biking pages, and we're gonna, just going to make some groups here and show you how it works. So first off, we have this computer page here. So we're going to put this in a group and then we'll add some more to it. So all you have to do is right click on it, add tab to new group, give it a name, pick a color if you want, and then just click off it and now it's in the group. So let's say we want to add another computer site, so this PC Mag site, let's say add tab to group, we can either do another new group or pick our existing group, and now we have two within this group. And if you click on it, you'll notice that it kind of minimizes it into just the name to kind of keep it organized. You can just kind of click on it again. And then you can also drag it around to relocate it as well. So let's add one more to it. We have this tech news site here. Computers. And now we have three sites in there. So let's do another one with some uh, with our streaming sites here. So we have Hulu open here. That's a new group. Let's make this red. Call the streaming. Click off that. Okay, now let's add. What else do we have here? We have uh, Netflix. Let's add that. Streaming. And we have our Amazon Prime here. Streaming. Okay, so now we have three in this group. Let's just do one more here. We got mountain biking. Let's do new group. Let's call this MTB. And what else? We got this one here. TB. And let's see, what else we have here? This one. Okay, so now we have three groups here. Like I said, if you click on it, you can kind of close it up and kind of keep things cleaner. And then, you know, when you're ready to go back to it, you can just click on it like that and see them again. So you have some other options. So let's say you want to take this group and move into a brand new window out of this window, open open this, take this group out of here and open it in a new Chrome window if you, if you want to have it kind of by itself. You could close the group if you want to get rid of it. You could ungroup it if you want to um, put things back to normal, I should say. So what happens if you close the group? All right, so that's gone. So now if you go to your uh, Chrome history, if you don't know how to do that, you just go to the three dots here Go to history, and you'll see they've got the, th the streaming tab here, and it shows you what's in it when you go over to it, and then you can just click on restore group, and now the group is back. And if you want to add a new tab in the group, you could do that. It'll just add a new tab, whatever your default home page is for new tabs, it'll add it to that group, and then you could just kind of, you know, add another, in this case, a streaming site to that. And if I don't want that, I could just click on the X. And same with these. If I don't want Hulu in this group anymore, I could just click on the X there, and it's gone. And now I just have these two. So as you can see, it's pretty simple to use. And once you start playing around with it, it'll make more sense. So just kind of go with what you have open here. Start right-clicking on some stuff, making some groups, changing your colors, uh, adding other tabs to it. And then you'll kind of realize that eventually you'll have a pretty clean uh, tab bar up here. And it'll make things a lot easier to find when you have a bunch of tabs open like I like to do. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.